my YouTube channel. Well, I want to share a few things with you why I decided to put up a YouTube channel. It has to do with some things I've learned, me and my wife have learned in the last year about our God that we never knew before and we hadn't learned, we hadn't been taught. It's about the love of God, about the nature of God, about that great, wonderful, awesome, amazing, perfect love that he has for us. It's beyond anything we ever imagined. And we still feel like we're just starting to dip our toe into it and every day brings something new. It is that the absolute most awesome thing that's ever happened to us and we believe it's the best thing that can ever happen to anyone. So we want to spread this. So I just want to share a couple of scriptures for you, whoever you are, religious or not, I hope you can consider this. Speaking of God's love, in Jeremiah 31, it says, The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. He's drawing you. He draws us. Who is that that's drawing us? It's important to know who that person is. Of course, we can never fully comprehend the fullness of who God is. But he knows who we are and what we can take and how or what we need to know to understand the things we need to understand about who he is. And he's been telling us this for a long time. There's another scripture in Jeremiah. It says, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness judgment and righteousness in the earth for in these things I delight that's the type of God we have that's the type of God who made you that's your father he delights in loving kindness judgment and righteousness judgment just means he judged all sin now, this is before he came in the flesh but he did he came in the flesh and he judged your sin and he judged it guilty and he took it away he paid for it he didn't just wipe it away with a sweep of his hand because it had to be paid for it had to be punished he said, punish me, treat them, treat me the way they need to be treated. So he said, you, my son, my daughter, you out there, I want to be treated the way he or she needs to be treated, deserves to be treated. I want to take that for them so I can be with them. That's how much he loves you. That's the kind of love he has. That's what he delights in, that loving kindness, that judgment that he executes and then pays for. And then the righteousness, the righteousness, which is of faith, Abraham, he, he believed God, and that was counted to him for righteousness. Abraham, the father of faith, he was here before there was even a law. And even circumcision was after he believed. It was just a sign of his belief. His belief and his trust in God is what gave him that friendship, that relationship that we all need. God made you to have a need. He built you that way. Everyone has that need. It's to be loved and accepted perfectly by someone and to know that they will never cast you away and they have a purpose for you and you are designed for that purpose and to fulfill it. That's why God made you and he's the only one who can do it. He's not going to break it off. He's not going to throw you aside. He's here to help you. He's here to teach you. He's here to strengthen you. He's here to encourage you and lift you up. It's just that religion. I don't want to get all down on religion, but the problem is with religion is it teaches us an old school way of doing things. It teaches you that you can get your flesh blessed through God, or you can get beat up by real bad, or maybe even go to hell if you're not watching it. But that's the old way. That's the Pharisaical, Pharisaical system. They taught that. But the Old Testament, the Old Covenant never taught about the blessing of knowing your God. It talked about temporal physical carnal blessings those were the blessings if you obeyed the law perfectly well you're never going to obey, obey the law perfectly so the message of these videos are built into most of them is the fact that your god loves you and he already gave you everything you will ever need you can enter into eternal life with him right now in that relationship with him not through religion through trusting in him through trusting that he did everything your god did everything you're not in on this deal. He didn't ask you. It was 2,000 years ago. He reconciled everything between the two of you. And that's a good thing because if it was on you, it was on me, we'd be out of luck. Even if it was one-tenth of one percent, we just can't get things right, folks. You know that. I know that. You have that need. Go to him for it. Not religion. Not church buildings. Not denominations. I'm not saying don't go there. I'm just saying you're not going to find that there. Find that in him trusting in him 
He's the only one that can make you understand that you are loved and accepted. And he's not going to take it away from you. He's the only one that's going to give you purpose. So these videos, I don't know where they're going to go because he's leading me. And that's not big talk. That's just faith. I just believe. I'm not going by sight. I'm going by faith. I trust in him. He tells me what to do now. He shows me how to do it. He's doing it. I'm not doing it. It's his responsibility. So whether it works or not, quote unquote, that's up to him. It's his fruit. It's his work. It's his ministry. He has something for you. He has something for all of us. But first, you got to know he loves you. If he does, if you don't know he loves you, you don't know him. How can you know someone if you think they are waiting to either smack you or bless you when they haven't? They're not looking to do either of those things. They've, God has already blessed you with everything. He's given you all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies with Jesus. He's given you everything for life and godliness. What else do you need? What else do you need, folks? And he's not looking to punish you. That's not who he is either. That's the old system. The new system is trust in him. You will know him. Your father, you'll spend time with him. You will open up this book, this beautiful book. I'm not saying have a relationship with a book. Have a relationship with the one who wrote it. And when you trust in him, he will come to life. He will talk to you through this, as well as in prayer and other things. But you will get to know your father. That's the true blessing. That's the true promise of the father. That's the kingdom. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. What's the kingdom? He's the kingdom. He wants to give you himself. He already did it a long time ago, but now he's living his life and he wants you to live it with him. Not on a basis of what blessing you can get or what cursing you can avoid. Just accept what you already have. You already have everything. Trust in that, believe in that. Don't go looking for things. Your God gave you everything and he's never gonna stop. But all you got to do is just let them. Or you can be religious and miss the whole thing. And miss the whole thing. But I hope you don't do that. I'm praying you don't. In Jesus' name.